Hello and welcome to the world of Excel and data analysis. Now in today's data-driven world, Excel is a powerful tool for analyzing and interpreting data. Now this course will teach you the basis of Excel as a beginner from entering data to creating formulas and functions. You'll also get to learn advanced techniques like data tables, creating charts and graphs, you know, creating pivot tables, power queries, and many more. This would help you also handle complex data analysis tasks efficiently. Now, this beginner's Excel in data analysis course would help you to develop the skills you need to succeed. So let's get in and start your learning journey today. I'll see you in class. Hello, and welcome back to the introduction to data analytics with Excel. My name is George, and I'll be your tutor throughout this course. And in today's course, we'll begin with the Model 1 outline, which we'll be talking about in the introduction to Excel interface and navigations, what an Excel workbook is, how to format sales text, rows and columns, how to save a workbook, print it, or even share the files as well. So without no further ado, let's dive into it. So the first thing you do is to launch the Excel. And you can go to your search bar here and type in Excel. And I'm just going to click on this. Now you have a box, dialog box that comes in here. You can actually select templates, free Excel templates here if you so wish. But for the purpose of this course, we'll make use of the blank workbook. So I'm just going to click on this. So this is what an Excel workbook looks like. Over here where you've got book one Excel, this is what it's called a title bar. And this shows the name of the workbook at the moment because we have not saved this workbook yet. So it's still going to use the title book one as the first Excel book we have opened so far. Now down here, we've got the tab, more of like navigations. And down here, we've got the ribbons. So it's more of when you click any of the tabs, you get to see the ribbons. Now, Excel has also grouped these ribbons as well into sections, I would like to call it. So we've got a clipboard sections that's got the cut, the paste, the copy, and the format painter. We've got the fonts. We've got the alignment, the numbers, the style, the condition formatting, and so on, which we'll get back to this in our later models. The cells, the editing. Then I'll move over to the sheet one here. So Excel reads pages and calls them sheets in Excel workbook. So if you want to add a new sheet or a new page, you can click on this plus sign here and it adds new sheets as well. If you'd want to rename this to make it more meaningful, you could right click on this click on name, rename, and then you can just type any meaningful name you'd like to name it. So I'm just gonna call this data and just click out. If I would want to delete this, for example, I could also delete this as well. And it goes off. And if I also want to hide any sensitive data, Let's just suppose in this sheet too, let me rename it and call it finance. Now let's say this data is something and I've got things imputed here. And I do not want this to be seen by everyone who has access to this workbook itself. So I want to hide it. All I just need to do is click on the sheet tab. Okay. Right click and I just say hide. And if anyone opens this workbook, you would not get to see that finance. But if I would want to obviously unhide it, just click any of the sheet tabs, right click and say unhide. Now, if you've got several sheets that you've hidden before, you can just select on any one. But for now, we've only got finance that we actually hid. And I'm just going to say unhide. And then it comes up here. So I'm just going to delete this as well. All right. So we'll move over to what a column is here on Excel and what a role is here on Excel. So these are called columns. Okay. And in columns, we've got over 
I believe um sixteen thousand plus. So there is every little chance to no chance that you're going to make use of over sixteen thousand plus columns in a workbook at a time. And then here I also called rows. So Excel works in a table format in columns and rows. So if you see, if you notice something, when I click on this one, on this row one, it tells me that this is column A, row one. So it's, it's more of like a cell name or cell address that points into it. If I go to, let's say 12, I should be getting A12, that's column A in row 12. So I'm in column A in row 12. Now, if I go here and I click any of this in G15, so it says you are in column G and in row 15. So it's always nice to know your cell names or addresses as well. Now, right here, we've got what we call the scroll bar. So you could either scroll like this, depending on the number of words you got, so you can keep scrolling like this, or you can scroll from the left to right or up to down and down to up as well. Now, when um, there's something called active cells in Excel, so whatever you click on and you get to see this green rectangular box, what Excel is saying is you are actually on an active cell. You're in a cell currently, and it identifies that the cell you are currently on is in column G, row six and then we've got something here called zoom so you can either zoom it out or zoom it in as well i would say feel free to play along with the tabs here and the ribbons they are very pretty easy to understand and easy to use now i'm going to go into file the file tab so if you want to create a new worksheet a workbook rather you can click new and click a blank workbook and you would open up a new um, blank workbook. And you can see on the title here, it says book two. We're just going to close that for now. And we are back to our book one. I'll go back to file. If you'd like to open a folder or a previous Excel workbook that you, you, you were using or you've currently just used, you can just click on open as well. And you can either click the folder or click the workbook that you recently opened as well. If if you can't find anything you're looking for here, you can browse to your laptop or your desktop and find exactly what you're looking for. Now the info tab as well shows you the properties, the size, the tie to categories. For now, we have not saved anything or named this workbook, so they would all be blank as well. So feel free to just explore on the rest of this. So for print, this is just how you print. And I'm sure you can actually, you know, know how to do this from Microsoft Word. So for the purpose of this course, I'm just going to do it, save us. And I'm just going to say, okay, I want to save this on my desktop. And I'm just going to call it test data. All right. So I'm just going to save it on my desktop and I'm going to say save data. Now, remember at the moment it's showing book one. By the time I save this, I should get test data on this title. I'm going to say save and this is done. So this brings us to the end of this model. This is just a general overview, a quick overview of the Excel workbook. But if you take a time to play along with this tabs and, you know, see what it goes in. And in our next model, in our model two, we'll get into what, um, data is how 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 we can actually make use of this in excel by how to enter data in excel mathematical operations and so of you see you in the next class